they told us it's extremely dangerous. Be careful. I say, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to Guatemala. God bless you. Exactly, exactly. On the bonanza. I told the guy, you know, TV show Bonanza. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He didn't know what I was talking about. Good matata beer. Vamos, apoyo campero. We're lost. We're somewhere. We're near the deep water port. I think I'm like the worst dressed in the whole place. They told us to be very careful. They said it's very dangerous there. But Welcome to Livingston, Guatemala. We are here at the municipal pier. Look, bienvenidos, welcome. La buga. Oye, ¿qué significa la buga? Es carifla, ¿no? La buga. Livingston. I think that's a uh, girl flower, la buga. Oye, oye, se señora. ¿Cómo le da? Allá dice bienvenidos, la buga. ¿Qué es eso? Buga. Es, es... La buga es linda. Sí, pero oh. buga, buga, ¿qué significa? La buga dice, bienvenidos a la buga. La buga es garífona. Oh, sí, es garífona. Significa Oh, significa ah, Livingston. Oh, ok. Ah, ¿A cómo le da? So this says, bienvenidos, which means welcome in Spanish, a la buga. Welcome to la buga. La buga is the word Livingston in the Garifuna language. That's why it's that color of the Garifuna colors. Wow! I learned something new. And here it says Aso Transalani. Y, y eso es Garifuna también aquí. Eso, aso trans ¿Qué, ¿Qué dice allá? Porque yo no entiendo. ¿No sabe qué dice? Also translate. She says she doesn't know what it means. She says it's Garifuna, but she doesn't know what it means. So we're gonna get we're gonna get boat number two. This is gonna be our boat number two. It cost us 50 quetzales to go to Puerto Barrios. See here it says Feliz viaje, happy trip. And I guess that's the name, Welcome to Livingston, Isabel. Isabel is the district where we are in, in Guatemala, district, province, state, here in Guatemala, the district. <laughs> and we're going to get this boat. They say when you have 14 passengers, this boat is going. That boat, I think, is only freight. That's a freight boat. So, guys, hey, give me that one. So guys, I'm gonna have a. ¿Cómo se llama esto? Bocadillos, they say acá pero es tableta en Belize. Yeah, in Belize they call it tableta. Here they call it bocadillo. It's coconut sugar cooked on an open fire, smoky flavor, really good. Here from Livingston, from the the main dock. This is the dock. And it has a little of ginger. A little ginger in it. Yeah. Smells good. This is the main dock here. When you come from Belize, we, we entered here on that dock right there. So this is entrance and exit. Luckily, we don't need to. Look, there's houses in that over on that side. They told me there's a Hindu community from India that lives over there. But they want too much money to take us over there, so. I'm not going because they said it's done there except houses. Let me try this out. In Belize they call it tableta. In Belize, se llama tableta. Aquí se llama. I forgot. What's it called here? What they call? Bocadillo. Here they call it bocadillo. Even though they speak Spanish, in Belize they speak Spanish here. There are different words for the exact same thing. That's the way it works. You go to El Salvador, they have different words also. It's a, it's a, a lot of the Spanish is the same, but a lot of the things are named different. In Belize, we have a fried tortilla. You, you put bean sauce on it, pickled onions, 
and shredded cheese, they call it the garnacha. In El Salvador, they call it garnacha, is a scrapped car leg on the side of the road. That shows you the difference. This is really good. Made by the Garifanas of Livingston. There's a large Garifana community here. I thought it was larger, but there's a large community. But you see more Latin Guatemalans here than you do Garifanas. But they are here, a lot of them. Can we see them? Watch the videos. So we're gonna wait for the boat, and then we'll show you some more. That tableta was great, I forgot the name what they call it in the Garifuna language. I think this is a garbage can, yeah. Garbage. It was great, gave me my sugar rush of the day that I needed. Let me walk on the pier here, show you guys. It's quiet right now, there's no boats coming in, so I'm not gonna be rushed by a bunch of people wanna take me on tours. There's all two boats and stuff too. But this is the main dock that comes in from Belize. And also where the cargo boats come, like you see this here's a cargo boat. That's a cargo boat. What do they have there? Looks like soap powder. Looks like bags of soap powder or something. Is the barco de cargamento? Yes, it's the carga. Yes, the carga. And where do they come from? The Puerto Barrios. Oh, the Puerto Barrios. Oh, I see. Wow. And all the days they travel. So... They carry products and verduras. And verduras. So this is the cargo boat. It comes from Puerto Barrios, where we're going right now. It brings groceries. And that's the people who haven't been recorded yet. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. So they've unloaded most of the boat there, and this stuff here is left because they're waiting for the truck to pick them up. And this is todo, todo aquí llega por bote, no hay, no hay carretera. No, no, solo por agua. Yeah, there are no roads coming here whatsoever, everything by boat. Wow. Es como una isla, pero no es isla. Es como una isla, es como una isla. Sí, casi como. Yeah. Yeah, there's another river and there's another river. Uh-huh. It's like a island. Oh, I see. It's big. Oh, so they say there are there are two rivers leading, two rivers leading on both sides. So it's almost an island, just separated from mainland by river. Wow. Que bonito. Me encanta aquí. Me gusta. Okay, amigo. Gracias. So this is one of the boats, how cargo gets here. I showed you another one in a previous video, the one before this, or the one before, before this. Pretty awesome place. Look at the name on the boat. Lex. Really big. Lex. <coughs> so they are waiting for the truck to come and pick up this stuff. Deliver it to the stores who ordered it. Here is more, wow, these are all chips, all chips, look at that, I'll chip inside it, chips, different chips, more chips, more chips, man, they eat a lot of chips here, what is this here, El Dia, Cocoa Flakes, so it's like corn flakes kind of stuff. And this is Ojaldo's Chocolate. So it's kind of chocolate kind of cookies. It's an awesome view here. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a 360 degree photo right here, right now. I'll put the name of my Facebook. Follow my Facebook. Read up there. Get the name on my Facebook, same same as my, this channel, Doug P Vlogs. Check out my 360 degree photo. First, I'll give you one via GoPro. 
and then I will take one that I'll upload to Facebook so you guys can see but there's a boat going out there's a dead fish laying in there float by the water so go to my Facebook and check out my 360 degree photo here from the main city dock here in Livingston Guatemala yeah so I just took an awesome 360 degree photo for you guys check it out on my Facebook name up there you guys will like it. I take other pictures too you know different photographs in fact let me take some photographs for you guys give me a, give me a break here look a ferry boat has just arrived I don't know if they're coming from Belize or they come from Puerto Barrios. Yeah, we're getting off. De donde viene? De Puerto Barrios. So this is coming from Puerto Barrios. People coming to Livingston. They have boats running constantly. See here, this is the taxi of the city. This is what we use as taxis here in Livingston. Tuk Tuk's. So they're all parked out here waiting for customers. Jump in the taxi. It charges you five quetzales anywhere in the city. Anywhere in the city you want to go, five quetzales. So they're all waiting here for customers. And here comes another one. And people are going home or visit their families. Some of them are tourists coming here. It's a busy place. Look at that. Look at that. The boat is loading over there, so let me head over there, get on the boat. So we're going to Puerto Barrios, guys. Hey, how are you? We're going to Puerto Barrios, guys. The boat is loading. Once they have 14 customers, they take off. Or as close to 14 as they can get. Here we go. Buenas, señora. Gracias. Muy sabroso tu dulce. Voy a sentar en frente aquí. Here I am. I'm in. I am in. I am in the boat. We're loading up the luggage in front here. Here we go. Do we have a full house? Yeah. You in here? My oh yeah, there you are. Next stop, Puerto Barrios. I'll show you a little bit of the water. If it's a little interesting. Stay tuned. Hey guys, here we go. Living sun. Back there. Here we go. Livingston is back there. We're going to Puerto Barrios. About 30 minutes away. It's a little more choppy today. Boat is bouncing. Thanks to the GoPro. It's all going good. And we don't have to worry life this. Yeah. We have up here a Starlink satellite dish, look at this. I told the guy, hook it up. We need internet really bad because I haven't been able to upload videos for a while. He says it works really good, but the reason it's not working good in the hotel is because the power goes on and off, on and off, and they probably don't have a backup on it. So every time the power blinks, sometimes it'll blink for one second. It has to reconfigure, look for the satellite and all that. So I think that's the problem. So guys, let's go to Puerto Barrios. The first time in my life I've ever been there. Come along with me.
Guys, look at the coast along here. I'll try to zoom in a little bit so it's a little closer. Sand beach, all along here, sand beach. There are a few houses and that along here. The GoPro doesn't do it justice, but man, with your eyes, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm gonna go on Google, Google Earth. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna study this area a little closer. It looks interesting. Look there, there's some nice places along the water here. I'm not sure if they're resorts, hotels, private houses. Not too sure, but they got some awesome looking properties. choppy today as you can see it's bouncing I got a GoPro strapped to my wrist so it doesn't fall into the water Look, somebody got a nice boat there with a lift or is it on the beach no boats on land nice boat though Puerto Marius is up ahead. I think that's just up ahead. I'm not sure because I've never been around here. <coughs> Guys, this is Puerto Marius. That's the dock where the container ships come in. Here you can see some more Puerto Barrios along the coast. It looks nice from the water, it looks really good. They told us to be very careful. They said it's very dangerous there, but you know, I've heard those stories before. It's dangerous everywhere in the world if you're not careful. You always got to be careful. But they told me, oh, it's so dangerous there. Be careful. They're killing people on the street and that. I don't believe that. Of course, you go in the wrong neighborhood. Things can happen. It just takes a little bit of common sense. So if you see this video, we were careful. If you never see this video, we did not use common sense. This is the municipal dock, Puerto Barrios. This is where all the local passenger boats come in. We're lucky we left our backpacks, everything in Livingston at the hotel. We're just gonna spend a few hours here. Our gas pumps out there, fill up the boats. Yeah, I put out the bumper right away. I've been a boat owner most of my life, so I know about stuff like that. Now we are here, we're in Puerto Barrio, Guatemala. It's good, it's good. Yeah. We made it, guys. We made it. All right. Boat ride was good. It was a little choppy. Not too bad. Not too bad. I don't mind choppy waters. Let's see what we can film here. Let's see this dangerous place. They told us it's extremely dangerous. 
be careful. Where are you going, my friend, Belize? Uh, no, 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 ahorita voy por aquí con familia. Are you over check a taxi or you walking? Eh, voy a ver, a ver qué dice mi esposa. Okay. Sí. Here we are, guys. It says, welcome to the port Barrios. Puerto Barrios. Puerto means port and Barrios means like the hood. Barrio. Guys, we're at the market here in Puerto Barrios. The taxi driver told us, he says that when you get a taxi back to the port, take one from this area. He says, do not just take any taxi because it could be dangerous. So don't take any taxi. Here we are in the market. Oh, boots. Boots and cowboy hats. Cool stuff. You could smell the leather in here. When is that? Awesome cowboy boots. Awesome cowboy hats. I don't think they'll have my size though. 13. Awesome, look. Leather belts too over here. The smell of leather here is really strong. Look at these handmade leather belts. Nice stuff. Wow. Okay, this is more my department. Cell phones, technology. More the kind of stuff that I like. My kind of stuff. There's a lot of clothes for sale here. Whoa, watches. Ahorita no. A lot of cell phones to see here. A lot of sunglasses. A lot of bras and underwear. The guy was guy. The guy was offering boxes. Okay, now we're in my department. Coca Colas, Pepsi Colas. I see what I need. I need a Pepsi. Yeah. Agua. Yeah. I need. Agua de botella. Aquí. Botella. No, that's sports. That's a sport. Pues dame una porque no tengo sed. Pepsi for me. I should get a bottle of Pepsi. I'll get a bottle of Pepsi. What is it? $8.50? $8.50. Nice there you go. 
ahorita me amo. No me lo pongas ahí, que sea, aquí arriba, aquí arriba. That's open. Sí. This is open. Muchas gracias. Okay, guys. Beans. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Pepsi Cola, look. Here in the market, you're gonna even buy your Corona, Corona beer. This is a market. This ain't a bar. But you can buy Corona beer here. Energy drinks. I think you want. Cheers, guys. Pepsi in a glass bottle. Gracias. Salud. Pepsi y la coca. Los dos mejores. A mí me gustan los dos. Esa es mi, es mi comida casi. Me encanta. Oh, see, sí, yeah. All right, they got me on YouTube. Subscribe. All right. Gracias. Uh -huh, gracias. ¿Cómo te llamas? Carlos. Carlos, ok. Yeah. Carlos, thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos, New subscriber. New subscriber. Te voy a dar una tarjeta también de mi canal. Para que suscribes, Carmen, eso por un segundo. Puedes hablar y anunciar tu tienda. Apúntatelo y. No, no, <laughs> Anuncia tu negocio. <laughs> Mío y de mi esposa. Oh, excelente. Yeah. So here we got more new subscribers. Uno de dos new subscribers. All right, guys. Bueno, nos vemos. No dejen un comentario en el canal, en los videos. Excelente. Ok, gracias. Let's keep on exploring here. The market here in Puerto Barrios. All these things are hanging high for the people. They're all, they're all rubbing against my head. Everything against my head. Hola. My friend, my friend. Have you guys ever been to the market here in Guatemala? Let me know. This is the first time I've ever been to Puerto Barrios. Never been here before. It's nice, it's big. Well, they say 600,000 people live here, so. That's a lot of people. That's a big city, it's a seaport town. All the container ships come in here from all over the world. And that's why it's so busy. So we got some food. Get people comida then then. Okay. I think we're gonna have to get food at one of these places. This is looking good. I'm kind of getting hungry for some chicken myself. What is pacaya? Pacaya is a, is a vegetable. Oh. It's, a, it's like a family to a house, but it's really nice. Oh. They cover it with eggs. I need meat. Did you see the pretty girl? Yeah. I need meat. <laughs> yeah, but that one is nice. 
A lot of cowboy hats here. Yeah. <laughs> nice to have a hat too, right? Buenas tardes. Okay guys, high rated CD games. Juegos. Games. High rated games. Oh games. Yeah. I tell you so many stuff. No. Wow, look at this pink. Oh yeah. Pink sunglasses. Interesting place here guys. Lots of stuff to see. Lots of shades. Nice watches. I know where we're going to eat already. I know. Seen it on many other videos. We're going to eat over there. Pollo Campero. We ate that Pollo Campero in the United States. It was not very good. So let's try it out. What it's like here in Guatemala. Yeah. Definitely gotta try out the Poyo Campero. You ready for some food? Yeah. I found a place to eat. Oh look, see these are the ones that I've been telling you. Look, look at that. Oh yeah. See? They yeah. have the yeah. butter and everything. I found a place to eat right across the street. Come look. We we've been there in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> We've been there in the United States. Let's go try it out here in its home country. Pollo Campero. We had it, we had Pollo Campero in California. It wasn't very good. We yeah. didn't like it. But they claim that here is better, guys. Well, it is from here. This is a. No, no, but this is a big difference. Yeah. Here than there. Yeah, well, naturally. Yeah, this is where it originated. Pollo Campero is a Guatemalan chain. Let's try it out. Vamos. A pollo campero. We have to wait, guys. This is like a six, five, five star hotel. I mean, a restaurant. We actually gotta wait to be seated. We gotta wait to be seated. This place is hopping. It's hopping in here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where I sit. And maybe put this on the ground with shoes. Or shoes. <coughs> Guys, we are here at Poyo Campero. 
I don't know if they'll allow me to film in here because when we were in LA, they did not want us filming. There we go. Hola. Pepsi, no, Linda, ¿qué más? Seven, 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 all kinds of stuff. So we're going to try the pollo campero in its home country, where it's supposed to be. Pollo campero is a Guatemalan chain, so we're going to try it here in Guatemala. I hope it's better in LA. In LA, we weren't too crazy for it. It was okay, but not the best. But here we are. Look at this. Guatemala. Pollo Campero. Guatemala. Let me look at the menu and I'll be right back. Guys, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking at the menu here. And then um, the french fries are McCain french fries. So you're talking quality french fries. It should be good. You could get french fries, you could get mashed potatoes, uh, green salad, or a coleslaw. Or a coleslaw. Any one of those you can get. And you get tortillas, or you get um, a little bun. But that place is popping. It's, it's man, it's really busy in here. I can't believe how crowded it's. It's like a. It's not like fast food. It's like fancy. Fancy. It's a fancy place. I mean, look around here. I'm trying to do this as indiscreet as possible. This place is super, super duper busy. People are standing in line to get in. You have to wait to be seated. It's not like going to McDonald's. This is like where the rich, where the rich eat in Guatemala. So let's try it out. Completely different to what we experienced in the United States. We went to the United States and and man, there were, there was like shady characters in there hanging out. You know, here it's everywhere. You could see everybody got got money. All well dressed. I think I'm like the worst dressed in the whole place. And me? You you're better dressed than me. Oh my god, I feel like I got out of the garbage dump. <laughs> we did just come on a half a boat ride. Yeah, but everybody else, if you look around, they're all well, well dressed here. Yeah, everybody. Most people that come to eat here, guys, they usually go, they're coming out of their office or went out for, for an opening, and that's why they're still good dressed, <laughs> well dressed. <laughs> yeah, so let's try this for you, compare, and we'll let you know how it goes. Try not to offend nobody with the camera. Yeah. Guys, this is fast food. But this ain't like fast food up in North America. Is it a fried chicken joint? Look at this. Actual silverware, metal silverware, no plastic. Actual plates, no plastic. Look at that. Yeah, that's a lot of chicken for 65 pesos. Not 65 pesos, 65 quetzales. Not bad. I'm gonna try this out. Guys, the place looks like so high class. I wonder if I can eat in my french fries like this by hand. Or do I have to use a knife and fork? Mm. The ketchup is so good. The ketchup is excellent. The ketchup is super Different tasty. Different taste. But, um, ketchup. Yeah, super tasty. But I've been to a fancy pizza restaurant in Mexico and they eat the pizza with a knife and fork. So I hope I'm allowed to eat 
my french fries with my fingers i don't want to look like a hillbilly in here this is koyoka it's very tasty guys because they brought real metal fork better than a regular real metal knives nothing plastic i'll explain to you because people are watching looking at us very good this is good very good mm. Todo bien. Sí, rico, rico, rico. Guys, this pollo campero here in Guatemala is excellent. They gave you a lot of chicken for 65 quetzales. I can't tell you how much that is right now. I want to pull out my phone. They give you three big pieces of chicken. They give you a coleslaw. They give you tortillas. They give you french fries. Free refills on the Pepsis. It's awesome. The flavor is good. The chicken is not greasy at all. It's dry and nice. The french fries are McCain's, so you know you're talking quality french fries. And their ketchup, it's tasty. It's good. Really, really Just like marinara. delicious. Yeah. Super good ketchup. So I'm gonna keep on eating. And when I'm done, I'll let you... Oh, and on top of that, the, the waitresses, they come up to you every so and so often and everything okay, you need anything else, you need a refill and, and they're like... Yeah, my love, my love, uh, do you need anything else? <laughs> yeah, my love, do you need anything else? I mean, yeah, the, the service, the service is just unbelievable. It's, it's, it's like a luxury fast food restaurant here. Super good. Guys, we just had a great meal here at Pollo Campero. The service they give you here is absolutely amazing. Fast service, good service. I mean, they were just there attending to every whims. It was great. I'll definitely come back to Pollo Campero in Guatemala again because it was good. Here's the kitchen, look at the kitchen. Spotless, clean, perfect. Bueno, gracias. Estoy tan lleno. Necesito una maca. <laughs> Great place, guys. Yeah. Que se suscriban a los dos canales. Yeah. Es en nuestro canal de YouTube. Pásalo a los otros para que lo ven también. Gracias. Yeah, so that was it guys. I'm so full I need a hammock and a nap. That's what I need. Right across the street from the market here. Puerto Barrios, Guatemala. Here we are on the waterfront in Puerto Barrios. Look at the sign. It says Tierra de Dios, Land of God, Puerto Barrios. With a heart in the middle. Restaurant up there. Restaurant and ice cream parlor. That, that's your bag. Restaurant and ice cream parlor. Very neat. Let me stop here and take a picture. Here we're along the waterfront. This is the Malecon. There's the Puerto Barrio sign. This is a big place here. Big spot. I think that's the deep water port there. For loading container ships. There's a hotel there, see Hotel del Norte. Wow, nice location for a hotel. Right on the water to this big park. Awesome. The Port of Barrios, Guatemala. I'm so lazy right now. I ate all that chicken. I mean, it's crazy. 
the amount of chicken they gave. Chicken must be really cheap here. Because man, I am so full. So, so full. I don't think I have to eat until tomorrow. Because I am really stuffed. Look at this. Look here, they got a little pier. Wow, this is a nice family area for hanging out. I'm surprised there's no people here. There's nobody out here. Look at it. It's all quiet. That's there where they unload the container ships. Load and unload. See those things they got there? Those, I think those are giant magnets for picking up those containers. Chiquita banana and dole. I'm gonna walk over there and show you guys. But this is nice. This is the open sea, the Caribbean Sea. Wide open. That's beautiful what they did here. It's beautiful, nice. I like it. Look at that. Way out there you can see more container ships. I don't know if they're coming in, going out, or if they're just parked waiting. Waiting for something to happen. Very neat. This is the first time I've ever been to Puerto Barrios in my life. We're gonna be here a few hours, then we're heading back towards Livingston. We're gonna spend another day in Livingston, then we're heading back to Belize. Back to PG and then from PG, let's see where we go. I am having a hard time uploading videos because the internet in Livingston is so slow. They have Starlink satellite dish, but man, it's not uploading anything. I just checked because at Poyo Compare, they got the internet, so I checked, check where I upload videos. And it's, I left the computer running in the room. They say it's still uploading. Hasn't finished yet. It was 75% when we left at about 11 in the morning right now it's after two still hasn't uploaded so this is what they call the deep water port where the ships come in from all over the world and it looks like these chiquita banana products and dole is big big business around here look at all the containers here no ships in right now, but there's the cranes, pick them up, very nice. I think there's a river going in there, I'm not really sure. Wow. Look at that. Here's somebody set up a bouncy house for the kids. I guess it gets crowded here at times. So you can bounce around in here. <laughs> Look at all the containers they have. It like never ends. Are these all filled with bananas? I know Chiquita's banana. So quite possibly they're all filled with bananas. There you can see the flag of Guatemala. Here you can see the entrance to the port. The containers there. Trucks go through there. I guess they measure them or weigh them or who knows what, looks like some, I think they spray them there, who knows what they do.
chiquita, they got chiquita bananas everywhere. I guess that's main main business around here. And Dole. See Dole up there? We're lost. We're somewhere we're near the deep water port. See all the big trucks here. Not too sure where we're going. We're just kind of bumming around Puerto Barrios. We're in the industrial zone. Well, we need to get out of the industrial zone. But there's not much here. Not much to see. Oh yeah, we were down there, see, at the Malecon, we were there. Let's go back this way, see what we find. Sun is kind of hot. That's not too bad. Here they made a nice little walk, walking path. <coughs> little shade, got lights. Probably looks pretty at night here. You smell the gunpowder? Yeah, I do smell gunpowder. I wonder why. Huh? Yeah, it smells really strong like gunpowder here. Yeah. It's coming from inside the port. Yeah, very strong. Very strong smell of gunpowder. Sounds like they're playing dominoes or something weird. Sounds like they're playing dominoes in there. No, they're working. Oh, they're working? Oh, you know what the gunpowder probably is? Welding. Probably a nail gun. Welding. A nail gun, not welding. Uh -oh. Yeah. Well, let's keep on going, guys. I get back when you see something interesting. Guys, look at this. The crosswalks on the road are pineapples. Pineapple crosswalks. You see why? The old pineapple. So I guess Dole Pineapple and Chiquita Bananas They're probably affiliated to each other So I guess they're responsible for building this walkway along here Because just container after container of Dole and Chiquita Bananas Those pineapple crosswalks, yeah they look cool, I like that That's something nice that they did for the people Every one of these containers here is refrigerated. See the refrigeration units? Every single one is running, keeping fruits inside cold. I know bananas, I don't know if they have pineapples too. I don't know what else Dole sells. Yeah. But they obviously fix up this area here for... Oh, boys' all school. Boys school yeah. I'm glad I never went to all boys' school. That would have been boring. But it really fix up this area nice. I guess they make that much money here, you know? We have to stop for a little yeah. beer break. You know us. We have to. Yeah, it's hot. And we sit down here. They had the fan on for us. The and fan guess went what up. happened? electricity the power went off again mm -hmm. the story of guatemala <laughs> the power is always going on it's funny yeah so we're sitting here along this drive this is the drive that goes that way to the malecon here in guatemala they call it no energia solar no energia yeah no energia that's the story of our trip to guatemala no energy <laughs> we, we sat, have energy we have energy but we said last night man it was dark yeah. Power went off. Yeah. Luckily, we were busy until you know, like 1 a.m. and that. So, room was ice cold. We just went to sleep. So. We were busy. Yeah, editing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have one of these. It is not very good. I prefer I the like bottle. It. I prefer yeah. the bottle. I don't. I don't like it much. I paid for it, so I got it. Right I should have bought myself a Coke or Pepsi instead. Mm -hmm. 
I'd prefer that. Look at the water truck. Yeah. Guys, we had that beer. I don't even remember the name, something ice. We drank like half a can. We ice dorada, some dorada ice. We drank half a can and left it just sitting on the table, paid for it, walked out. It was only five quetzales for can, so it's like really cheap. But it tasted, yeah. tasted horrible, dude. Yeah, tasted like iron, like iron. Yeah. Like thin, uh, yeah, rusty. it tasted like it was in a rusty can or something. It was just nasty. It wasn't rusty, but it tasted like that. Yeah. Too much taste of a can. Yeah. Horrible, horrible. So we just paid for it, left half a, half a full can. Yeah, standing, on, for it. standing on table. I told the guy, this is horrible beer. He said, oh, you asked for it. Yeah. <laughs> he thought maybe I didn't want to pay. You, you, I told you take the beer you want, but you took that one. Yeah. <laughs> he thought maybe I don't want to pay because it's nasty, but no. I just thought yeah. it's nasty beer. So far, the best beer, beer we had here in Gallo. Guatemala is the Gallo, the one with the rooster. That was good. I had the Cabro beer. I had the Cabro beer last night. Or not yet. Not last. When we we're circling around, cruising around on the tuk tuk, had a cabro beer. And then um, that was okay, but not as good as the guy. So stick to beers with animal names rooster, goat. See what we find next. Dog beer. Okay. Let's get Goat over the road. Beer. Goat Matata beer. Look at this guys, Gun, guns are legal here. Everybody packs guns around so right here at the market you can get your whole set for your pistol. You open your soul. That's not illegal here. That's why you gotta be a little careful here too because if you get somebody mad a lot of people are packing guns. He says he's from Honduras and he got an injured eye but he loves dancing so he had to dance with where are you Maria? <laughs> He says I look Cuban. You look Cuban? <laughs> oh man. But he says I only have one eye. Yeah. <laughs> we are walking back to the mis muni municipal pier where we're going to catch a boat back to Livingston. Puerto Barrios is okay, but they don't interest me too much. It's a big city. It's nice. It's nice, but I don't know. I like Livingston much better. Gracias. Yeah, so the boat for Livingston leaves at 5. So we gotta get there a little before 5. And they say after 5, it's kind of, it's on your luck, you know, if there's gonna be another boat or not. If they get enough customers, they will have another boat. And if not, well, you're out of luck. So we have our hotel paid there still. So we need to get back. Hey, 
there's a loud bar Puerto Barrios Guatemala we are in the what they call the Department of Isabal that's the district the state the province here they call it department it's Isabal It's not too far to the pier, so we're just gonna walk it. Why not? Motorbikes and scooters are big here, everybody's got them. It's one of the major modes of transportation in this part of the world. Yeah, cheap on gas, cheap on gas, good for the heavy traffic. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Look at this old building. I bet there's a lot of years behind this thing. Parts up there. Okay. Yeah, everything advertised right up there. Huh. Down there is the municipal dock. That's where we're going to be going. Catch the boat back to Livingston. It was interesting here in Puerto Barrios. I wouldn't say great, but it was interesting. It's a big, busy city. Not much culture left. But it was interesting. I'm glad I came. I could say I've been here. I'm glad we went to Pollo Campero. What a meal that was. I'm still full. I'm probably going to be full tomorrow. Still. Here was so much food, so much. What I need is a Coke Zero really bad. I saw some little restaurants around the municipal dock, so I have to get a regular Coke because they don't know much about Coke Zeros around here. Everybody drinks those sugar Cokes which is really bad for you but that's what people drink around here they taste good but they're not good here in Guatemala the see notary public and lawyer no, abogada is lawyer notarius notary so she's lawyer and notary public and for some reason I call it Hurdicio is judicial buffet, it's a judicial buffet. I don't know why they call that judicial buffet like you're gonna go eat or something. It's kind of weird. That's what they call it here. Buenas tardes. That is the the marine place where they hang out, their base. Friendly guys. We're almost at the port. Port is right up there. Let's keep on going. Look at this interesting building. Big statue of Papa Angel. They got like some snakes on the columns some dolphins a couple of giant shells it says Casa Cultural Valdemar Aldana Puerto Barrios cultural center cultural house of Valdemar Aldana what is this? que es esto? explícame por favor no se sé, pero se ve muy interesante 
it's for anybody watching from Guatemala who might know what this is look at this this thing here I'm not sure what this is but look it's made out of seashells everything out of seashells look at and then I got this dolphins back there look at that there's a giant shell this is a conch conch shell made out of fiberglass Here's more. Here is a okay more conch shells. Look here, a big Mayan statue. This is interesting. Look here. is this? See those snakes up there? Those are cobras wrapped around the column. on the floor, big anchor. This is pretty wild. Pretty wild. Look this is a Mayan a Mayan Stella but with modern stuff on it. Here's the front of this Mayan Stella. Bicentenary of Guatemala. This is wild. Here they have a plaque that says Bicentenary of Guatemala, 200 years. Looks like 18... eighteen. I can't make it out. Is it 71, 91, 2021? What's this made out of? Concrete. Here are a couple more statues. You have one thrown back there. Back here is a bunch of trash. This is pretty wild. Whatever the heck this is, this is pretty wild. I like it. Maybe some eccentric, weird guy. Look, way up there, there's a globe. Crazy. That building alone was worth coming here to Puerto Barrios. That was interesting. I like seeing that. We are almost at the municipal pier. It's right up there. Here it says, Feliz viaje. Have a nice trip. Yeah. We made it. If we had taken a taxi, it would have cost us 30 quetzales. We walked in a few minutes. No big thing. Somebody told us a taxi ride throughout the city is eight pesos per person, so it'd be 16 for two. But everywhere we went, everywhere we went, they charged us 30 pesos, so 15 each. So I think they were overcharging us right from the beginning. Here we're going to get the boat. Back to Livingstone. Here's a map. 
Quickly look at the map. We are here. We are going here. We're going from here to here by boat. And then we're going from boat from here up to there. See? Right from here we're going to go up to there by boat. Next time we come down here, we're going to go down this river here to Rio Dulce. Oh, Rio Dulce is here. Oh, okay. So, so you got to go from Livingstone. Oh, this is it. Livingstone. You go down here and you get to Rio Dulce. That'll be next. This here is the Sarstoon River that separates Belize from Guatemala. But Guatemala is fighting for the southern piece of Belize. They want it. But they're not getting it. That's the beer we had, Cerveza Dorado Ice. That beer sucked. Big time. It was just nasty. You got tickets? Alright. Very good. Okay. Rojo. Bonanza. 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 I told the guy, you know TV show Bonanza? Oh yeah, oh yeah. He didn't know what I was talking about. He had no idea. Sonny, you ask dumb questions. You don't even have the right to use it. Bonanza. Port Barrios. Guatemala. ¿Qué están reparando? La tubería. Ah, ya. Yeah. Agua. Es agua. O la gasolina. Esa es la gasolina. gasolina. Ah, sí. Change the pipes. Change the pipes. Gas pipes. Así no prendo mi cigarro. <laughs> we told the guys we, we try to speak English a little bit. Yeah, you guys gotta like learn it. English. I like yeah. you know, because I have my my babies and you know Louisiana, New Orleans? No. 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 Yeah, over there in Louisiana is my, my daughter. Oh yeah. One twenty two and one fourteen. Where they live? Louisiana. Oh, in Louisiana. In oh, Louisiana. in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. I've never even been to Louisiana. You know, remember about Katrina? Yeah, I remember the but hurricane. Katrina, I stay over there. Yeah. Right? Oh, you were there? I live to, to Boston and uh -huh. in New Jersey and, and coming down to Houston. Yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. there's a lot of traffic men over there. That's for sure. So your daughter stayed up there, you go came back on. down? Yeah, I go over there. Uh -huh. right. Yeah, and yeah. you go for the boat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Lancha te vas. Yeah, the lancha would be good. <laughs> it would be good. Uh, we try, man. I, I, I practice my English. You got to practice your English, yeah. yeah. Very important because yeah. in this world, everything is English. Sadly, everything is English. Yeah. Well, good, good for me, but bad for those. Here, Guatemala, the English is coming a lot, man. I know, yeah. Too much. Uh, tourists, a lot of tourists, so you need to know English. If every tourist you see or every person who speaks English you see and you practice, you're gonna get good. Yeah. Watch. Every time I see you, I say, "How you doing, my friend? Welcome to Guatemala. God bless you." Exactly. Exactly. You learn good that way. And you um, watch English TV. Uh, yes. And then you repeat what they're doing. Oh yeah. We and that practice. way. Yeah. Practice. That way you're gonna learn. Yeah. Get a lot of practice. Yeah. All the time my daughter say, "You have to practice, Daddy, because you're gonna." Yeah. <laughs> when you call her on the phone, you talk to her in English. That's where you practice too. Yeah. Yeah. And that I like way. English, man. I like it. Yeah. The time, I like it. When I'm yeah. working, uh, so many times uh, yeah, I'm working for people who speak English and need to have uh, a colonia. Yeah. Que le llama colonia los gringos. Oh, yeah. So I have to speak English. Oh, they have a colonia called Colonia los gringos. Los gringos. And all, all foreigners live there. It's like a. Uh, 
Ori, ¿no? ¿Cuántos minutos está la colonia de Vivo? Ah, como 20 minutos, 25. Oh, yeah. Wow, and all, all foreigners live there. Colonia oh, Los Gringos. Big house like uh, over there. Really? Big wow. Uh, the, the, the lugar se ve like um, America. Looks like America. Yeah, America. Wow, next time, next time I come, I gotta go there and film it. Definitely I have to go film it, yeah. Uh, that is neat. Yeah. That is really neat. That's good. Yeah. You go to... Belize or Livingston? Livingston. Ah, yeah. Good, yeah. Got, uh, good food. Yeah, we're staying in. I know. Yeah. Big camarones. Yeah, big langostas, big lobsters. I know. Yeah, we're gonna be in Livingston and then we're going back to Belize. That's good, man. Yeah. That's good. I'm making videos from all of Belize, north to south, east to west. Belize. Uh, yeah, I, I live in the north of Belize. And since we're so close here in Punta Gorda, so close to Guatemala, we said, well, let's go to Livingston. The Livingston, we said, 30 minutes to Puerto Barrios. Let's go to Puerto Barrios. Okay, we also went to Melchor de Mencos when we were in Cayo. We went to Arenal. And in the north, we went from Belize into Botas, Mexico. Okay, so you're so close. If you don't jump the border and check it out. To Mexico, eh? Yeah. I have my uncle. He lives in, in Belize. Oh, yeah. Okay, a couple of times he, he, he told me and said, You want to come to work? Yeah. He said, I don't know, man. I like you over there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. You look like you speak English, everybody. Everybody there. speaks English yeah. in Belize. Yeah. Yeah, everybody speaks English. So nice to see you, man. Yeah, Pleasure, same thing okay? here, man. Okay. Nice to Serving. meet you. My name is Servin. Servin, all Serving, right. Yeah. Uh, who's Pedro? Uh, Pedro is he, <laughs> my friend, the Bible, you know, the, the Bible, he's ah, he working with Jesus, uh -huh. he's oh. my friend, Lord Pedro. Peter. <laughs> All right, okay, nice meeting you, man. Okay, all See right. ya, bye. So it was interesting, his um, daughter lives in Louisiana, so, and he came back here to, to work. I can't imagine why he came back, but it's none of my business. Here's our boat. Oh, this is terrible. Look at this. I don't like that. No hagan eso, gente. Por favor, no tiran basura. Very pretty here. Very pretty. Well, we're still here waiting for the boat. The boat hasn't filled up yet needs to have at least 12 to 14 people and that's when they move 50 pesos not 50 pesos 50 quetzales to Livingston we're staying at that hotel there hotel Casa Rosada and restaurant I don't know where that is that's a good place check out the video I'm gonna have a video on that I get kind of exhausted. It's been a long day. Plus we didn't sleep very good last night because the power was off. And when the room started wa getting warming up, that's when we woke up pretty early. We woke up and we couldn't sleep anymore. Couldn't sleep anymore because it was getting too hot. So we got up. Here we are. I guess I'll go. I'll go sit down in the boat. Hi. Two people are left to board, or two tickets to sell. And then we're going. We're on the boat, engine has started, we are getting ready to leave here Puerto Barrios. We've got a full boat, look at that. They wanted to sit me back here, I told the guy there's no leg room here, I can sit here, look at this. I can stretch out, he said, oh but you're going to be crowded with the light vest and others. I don't care, I don't care. I could stretch my legs. I'm a happy camper. 
Bye bye, Puerto Barrios. Adios. Adios. Here we go, guys. 